Swimming at a waste disposal site heightens your risk of a shark attack. Not to mention all varieties of diarrheal illnesses. that we were not insurance investigators questioning their disability claims. The spring of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft.
The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action. But mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. aspect of the shark's brain makes them almost incapable of distinguishing between public and private beaches. That horse legs should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. So you gotta be the best at something.
many a child run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. mayor's practice of hiring Fijian the Hoosier hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. She's up front!
whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis' reputation as a shark attack hotspot. Many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. I don't think she'll be coming back to Port Clovis anytime soon. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark for now. Skiffs are commonly used for drug smuggling. Why, I bet you could load at least $250,000 worth of cocaine on that one. Alligators as man killers in the 80s arcade game Jungle Jump nearly led to them being hunted to extinction. Special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Deborah. have arrived. Soon we will see them in action and quite possibly discover which one of them. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment.
Jones and Lingo Jones. And that pertains is on me, boys. The battle is over, but the war goes on. Baton Tordu was built just in time for the slow decline of golf as a popular sport. from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul.
From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. It's generally believed that a shark never sleeps. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. Even for a finely tuned predator, this ability underwater is limited to a few dozen feet. It's a kingfish in the mood, quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. Predator struggles for you. When the sound of shotguns and 
Molly Hatch disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea. The shark hunter is my name. Killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day.
The Sea Wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything.
now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves. <laughs> Another shark hunt draws to a close. Of his locals seldom miss an opportunity to indulge in mindless, gratuitous slaughter. Coast stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacation homes.
weapons out here. Is that it? It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Fort Clovis. Sultan of Speed, the Mako. and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako.
A peculiar biological adaptation allows the bull to survive in fresh water.